Yo, what's good guys? Thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm going to be showcasing you lot how to create this amazing music video trailer for your clients. I've done a video like this before, but not in this style. This is more advanced and is a lot more valuable for us editors. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. And if you have been enjoying the content, hit that like button. Let's dive straight into this tutorial. So the first thing that I usually make sure that I have ready is my banner. Now, some of you may be thinking like, okay, how do you create this? Like, how do I do all of this? There's loads of tutorials on YouTube, but what I've done is I've created this banner specifically for you guys to just download and use yourself. The link will be in my description. So feel free to do that. So it has the artist name here. You have the song name and then you have directed by and the director's name. And then this space here is for where you want the videos to be. So the first thing I usually do is I back out of all of my applications to make sure that I am ready to add these pictures in and we're going to do the top one first. So as you can see, I've already got my screenshots here. So we're just going to make this big again, go to our desktop and we are just going to drag top onto our file here. And as you can see, it's gone in the middle, but that is not where we want it. We're just going to click tick and we're going to go to our top file here and we're just going to drag it above the top layer here, which means that it will be in this section right here. Okay. So we're just going to drag it up in the top layer and we're going to click right click and we're going to click on create clipping mask. And what that's going to do is basically chop it up so that now we can move around and we can position where we want our image to be simple as that guys. So you don't have to create this yourself. You can just literally download this and add your images in yourself. And as you can see, we've got the artist name, song name, and the picture now here. So now we're just going to change this to the artist name, which is Chainsaw. Shout out my guy. The video is sick. Song is sick. And we're just going to drag that into the middle there. And we're going to double click on our text layer. And we're going to click on drop shadow just to make sure that that is coming out nicely. I don't like to add too much of a shadow, but just to emphasize the name a little bit there. I'm just going to click OK. And then we're going to do the same thing for the song name and the song name for this is signs. So we're just going to tick that and we're going to drag that back into the center right here. And then we're going to do the same thing. Just click drop shadow. So then now we've got the artist name and the title of the song. And what you can do is if you don't like the way it's looking, you can just zoom in to let's just say around 250 and we can scroll up and we can just position this a little bit more better because when you're zoomed out, you can't adjust it as much. And I'm just gonna zoom back out. So then now when we look at it, it looks way better. Now you can adjust this, choose your own form, do whatever you want. It's completely up to you. Position it how you want it to be. But for me, this is just an example to show you guys how to do this. So we've done the artist name and we've done the song name as well as the top banner. So we're gonna, next thing we're gonna do is go to the desktop again and go to bottom oh, and just drag that in. And then we're going to do the same thing, tick, and we're just going to drag bottom on top of the bottom layer here. And then we're going to drag it down. And then as we drag it down, we're just going to right click and do create clipping mask again. So then now it's chopped it up just like that. And then now we can just position on where we want this and how we want it. Now for me personally, I'm not going to have directed by and put my name. I'm just going to delete these two text icons here. However, it is just optional for you guys. If you do want that there, you can have it. So then once you're in your folder where your logos are, just choose which one you want to use. I have so many different logos, VFX, edits, stuff like that. But I'm just going to use my main one, which is visuals by Xavi. And then we are just going to click tick and double click on our layer because it is not a PNG, unfortunately. And we're just going to change it to screen. I always do mean to change my logo, but I just feel like I'm happy with the way it is. And yeah, it's just easy to use. So we're just going to have something looking like that. So I'd usually have my logo maybe in the middle, but for this scene, because we got, you know, a white jacket and the artist's face is right there. I don't want to be covering his face. So you could have it either in the right hand corner. And then again, guys, if you guys are not really liking the text, you can just go into your fonts see what's best for you change things up and this one here is looking a bit better for me not gonna lie to you so we're just gonna change that to that same font like that and then what you can also do is you can just change this option here 
to just bring the artist's name out a little bit but what we're also going to do is we're going to make the text a little bit smaller just to make it shine out a bit more so then now we'll have something looking like this but again zoom in 200 scroll up and just have something looking like this so now now when we zoom out it's very simple you just got the artist name the song name our logo okay so now we're going to go to premiere pro open up premiere pro and here is our preview for the trailer very sick video and it's very easy for us to put this trailer inside of the banner that we've just made but the first thing that i'm going to do is obviously create my trailer right because i haven't added anything to this trailer it just cuts off so the first thing that i'm going to do is, is i'm going to listen out for the audio and i'm going to make sure i hit a good cutoff point and we have eight wishes here wish sounds effects that you can use i can put this in the link in the description and i've just got mine selected already and i'm going to drag it towards the end of our audio here okay and once we drag it towards the end i want to make sure that it kind of sinks in with it so it sounds sick so the first thing i'm going to do is go to the end and listen out so that is a good cutoff point but i feel like we don't want to show this next scene here so literally i'm just going to make sure that i lock my audio icon here trim this delete and then drag in the wish sound effect and we just want to make sure that this sinks in with the drop towards the end which is perfect so if you listen to that you can hear the whoosh which is perfect that's exactly how we want it so the next thing you want to do is basically just type your text and you want to put out soon use ts for this one because I, I just love ts it just looks sick it goes well i'm just going to add a shadow as well make that a little bit smaller just around there and we're going to bring this up make sure it's in line with the where where the video ends just there turn that down a little bit it's too loud and then we're going to go to effects and we're going to add hollow matrix if you don't have red giant fair enough but you can use other effects to make your text stand out but we're just going to use this as an example and then the next thing i'm going to do is just make sure we watch this back to see if it lands in well perfect we're going to type in constant constant power and we're going to drag that onto the end of our audio so it fades out next effect we're going to add is going to be a glitch to the text and um, that is from red giant as well you need dot glitch transition and we're just going to drag that onto the front of the text so then now when it lands in you'll have something like that and then we're going to add it at the end of our text as well and make sure that our wish is playing out and fading out and then just drag it in line with the whoosh where it ends and then we're going to add a sound effect to match the glitch and the glitch is going to be coming from the film burn which is this sound right here sick if you have any film burns you can do this yourself very useful any sound effects you have maybe it's a glitch sound effect you can do it yourself as well but with the film burns they always work for me so I'm just gonna make sure I line that in with the glitch if that makes sense. So it's looking like something like this. And I'll just turn it up for you guys to hear it one more time. And I think that looks really nice, okay? So it's gonna add our out point. And then now what I usually do is, just before the clip ends here, right here, I usually add my editing logo and it is right here i'm just going to drag it into premiere pro like that and then now you can see that this is my logo edited by and it has my instagram and then we're just going to drag this just before the clip ends here and just resize the way we want this to be so it's looking like around i say around here and then now we can just drag that out soon right at the end there so then now this is our actual trailer very simple guys i'm just going to render this through but if you follow these steps you can create your own trailer just like that and then if you really want to you can download the banner and just add it in the middle and you know change the text change the banners the images all of that and you can just make it look like this this looks so clean very simple to do and uh, with the trailer you can get really creative different sound effects 
you know you can make it look like a movie at the start if you want do a couple fade-ins uh edit the clips the raw clips that you have to adjust to the trailer you could do that as well but um when you're just looking for a quick trailer to be put out there for someone to preview their new song this is how you want to do it so this render is nearly done so now when we watch this trailer towards the end And I think that looks sick, you know, um, it all depends on your style. But for me, this is the way I make my trailers and I'm really happy with the way that looks. So it's going to save that and we're going to go to export and we're just going to type in signs trailer. And we're going to make sure that this is the highest quality that we can get just like so. And make sure when we go to video that it's there, ultra 4K. I'm just going to export. And then we're going to go back into Premiere Pro and we're going to put the video inside of our banner. And I can show you guys exactly what it looks like. So now once you have the video exported, we could just literally just go to file, go to trailer, final as an example. And then we can literally just make sure that we go to desktop and we have our Instagram trailer here. Looks like that. And then we got our video we go to full videos. The signs trailer right here and then we could just add this into the sequence to make sure that we've got the right size and if we go to sequence settings you can now see that these are the sizes that we did in Photoshop 1280 by 1280 and then we could just drag our trailer underneath the banner like so and obviously when this happens you're gonna be thinking wait why is it so zoomed in just right click and just go to set to frame size and there you go, you have your banner over your trailer. And now it is looking like this. Now that is very clean. Again, guys, you can make this a lot better. You can customize the banners to your own liking. This is just rough and a quick example of how you can do this. But just for Instagram, you can make your feed look really nice with these sort of banners and these sort of trailers. I don't really do them myself anymore. I just used to previously do them. But for anyone that may want to use these banners and make their feed look really nice, this is definitely a way of doing it. You can make your text the same for every single post so that it has a sort of style and theme. But guys, this is perfect. Looks so clean. If you enjoyed this video today and this helped you out a ton, please guys smash that like button. I would appreciate it a lot. And if you are new to the channel, like I always say, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That is the end of today's video and I'll see you in the next one. I, I made mistakes and I've done some things that I can't take back. I, I, I should be dead or in jail and I know that I'm better now. Pr I pray and I pray that I leave it all behind. Praying that those things that go on my mind. Yeah. All along I've been yeah. reading the signs. Yeah. I, I made mistakes and I done some things that I can't say bad. I, I, I should be dead or in jail and I know that I'm better now. Pr pray and I pray that I leave it all behind. Praying that those things that go on my mind. All along I've been reading the signs.